you know that feeling of betrayal of someone that you hold so close to your heart someone that you trust that you would tell anything you would show anything and they take that trust and they stab you in the back that feeling afterwards of anger of rage of feeling like you shouldn't have trusted them in the first place backstabbers there's a song right um the ojs yes and also junior mafia right backstabbers a smile on your face all this time they're trying to take your place backstabbers this is gut-wrenching what if the person that stabbed you in the back that is continuing to stab you in the back is you we put so much emphasis on how we put our trust into other people and you know if they reciprocate and if they're if they're good to us if they're kind to us if they hold our trust if they hold space with us but what if the number one person that's stabbing us in the back is ourselves so you thought this was going to be about oh my god you know there's this person yeah i totally relate them they i i trusted them and they and they hurt me right yeah what if that's you what if you were the person that's stabbing yourself in the back and you're doing it every day? Because what's going on when we are not doing the work that we're here to do, when we are allowing our fear and our inhibitions and the things that we think we should be saying and the way that we should be creating, the way that we should be loving and the way that we should be receiving and all of these things and who, who we should be and how we should speak and how we should move and all of these things, when we're allowing that to dictate the way that we create and show up in the world and the work that we do in the world, we are stabbing ourselves in the back. We are walking a shadow path, living a shadow life, doing a shadow career, as one of my favorites, Stephen Pressfield, would say. Shadow, right? We're living in the shadow. And that is the biggest form of betrayal that we can do in this planet, uh, in our world, right? We always, we're, we're so out there. We're out there. What are we doing to other people? What are they doing to us? How about we flip that script and look at what we're doing to ourselves? When we are not walking our path, when we are not looking at ourselves and allowing ourselves to become completely, completely turned on by who we are and the work that we're here to do, when we are not walking our path, when we are not saying, okay, God, use me, use me, like open me up, make me the vessel, make me that portal for your work in and through this life of mine, we are betraying. We are being someone that is less than. We are allowing ourselves to shrink and allowing our power to be muted. This is, this is the biggest betrayal that we can ever do in this world. This is the biggest betrayal that can be done to us. And it's us. We are the perpetrators. It's not anyone else. It's you. It's me. It's us doing it to ourselves. So if you are someone who knows that you were here for greatness, for impact, for the most exquisite freedom and turn on and desire and, and, and pleasure in this world by showing up as you are and allowing yourself to be the vessel, to be the portal for the divine to work in and through your life, then stop betraying, right? You've got to stop being that perpetrator and allow yourself to step into your own power, to step into the work that you were here to do in a way that allows you to be fueled, to be filled up with with ecstasy, with the divine as you know the divine. There is a message burning, burning a hole inside of you. It is, it's, it's blazing a trail through your marrow, your, your sinew, through, through each and every cell that you contain, trying to be birthed out into the world. What are you doing? What are you doing when you are betraying that, when you are not living that? You are the perpetrator. You are betraying that which has been placed inside of you, only you, to be birthed into this world. So if you if you want to live in that, right, if you want to live as this person who does not show up, then you can probably leave my channel now, right? Like, you probably, you and I are not going to resonate. If you are, however, someone who knows, you know, oh, there's this, there's this piece in you that's saying, Oh God, I'm kind of triggered, but yes, and also, uh, I, I, I'm being the betrayer. I'm being the perpetrator. I, I am not showing up all the way. 
I'm not being consistent. There is no conviction in my heart because I am afraid. I am afraid of the amount of power that is running through my, bo my, my bones, my bones, my blood, and I've been hiding. I've been pretending to show up, but I haven't been. I've been pretending to be this amazing thought leader, creator, artist who stands for something, except really I haven't been standing up. I've been laying down. I've been rolling over. I've been sitting up and then shrinking away. So if you're ready to stand in that power, say yes. Comment below. Say yes, I'm ready. I'm ready and I'm all in. I am willing to be the person that I'm here to be, that I came here to be. I'm willing to look at my own stuff, get out of my own way, look at my fears, my inhibitions, my pain, my rage, all of that, and allow it to be the fuel that 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 fires up that that stokes my message that I'm here to share and whatever your medium is but if we are not doing it if we are not living it if we are not being the actual physical embodiment of that message every day then we are betraying ourselves we are betraying God we are betraying the message that is in us we are betraying our souls so stop looking outside for who's betraying you and look in the mirror look at your own stuff look at how you have been betraying yourself and the path that you are here to walk yeah walk that path allow yourself to say hey it's been me it's been me all along oh and that's the hardest thing right it's easy to look at other everyone else it's easy to look at how you've been betrayed it's easy to look at the relationships it's easy to look at all, all of the traumas and the dramas and everything that has been standing in your way it's a lot harder to look at how you've been standing in your own way, right? And, and then the next level of that is being willing to not only look at it, but to do something about it, to shift who you're being so that you can birth into this world the message at the level that you are here to birth it. So if you're with me, comment below, say yes, 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 I am in, I'm willing to stand in it, I am here to do the work, I'm going to get out of my own way, I'm going to stop betraying my freaking soul and do the work that I'm here to do, I'm going to walk my path. That soul, that medicine that's inside of you, the only one that can birth it into this world is you. The only one who can shift the fabric of our universe and the way that you are here to shift it is you. So we've got to stop looking at who's stabbing us in the back and look at how we're stabbing ourselves in the back and then be willing to shift it with conviction, with consistency, with the level of divine devotion that is required for us to walk our path. Trailblazing ain't easy. If it was easy, everyone would do it, right? Everyone would do it, but you are here. You, want to, you are one of the ones who is here to make a difference with your message and with your life. So if you're ready, stand up, draw that line in the sand, jump over the line, <laughs> screw the line, like erase it and like, it, it's done, it's behind you. We're on to drawing the next line. Stand in your power. Allow yourself to walk that path. Allow yourself to birth the medicine that's in your soul. If you're with me, comment below. Make sure you are subscribed. You have the notifications turned on. We're doing this stuff every like every day. This is untaming. This is unraveling. This is being willing to stand in the fire and the truth and the power of who you came here to be no matter what. If you are with me, be with me. Come with me on this ride. I love you. I love you. I love you. Make sure you share this out with anyone that needs to hear this. All the other beautiful, amazing goddesses and warriors who are here to raise the consciousness of our world. Yes. I love you guys. All right. Make sure you're subscribed. Turn on those notifications. The little bell. Boop, boop, boop. Mm, yes. Grab the free rituals and resources. Link is in the description. NikaCarly.com slash Wild Tribe. That's it. I love you. As always, thank you for being here. Here's to your untaming. Bye, wild ones.